Hi, I'm Winnie. I'm Zoel. And I'm Mateo. And welcome to this month's episode of High School Happenings. To kick things off, let's send it over to Jaden, who got a chance to check out Colonel Bai's awesome Black History Month Showcase. Thanks, guys. We're here at Colonel Bai for their annual Black History Month Showcase for a night full of celebration. Let's go see what it's all about. Showcase is an annual showcase that happens at Colonel Bai and what we try to do is we try and showcase the youth, the black youth here and also anybody who wants to participate can. So it's try we're trying to be as inclusive as possible and during the show we have skits, we have dances, poems, videos and we just try our best to celebrate Black History Month and raise awareness for the things that we don't really get to learn about in school. The uh, co-eds and I Melina, Alili, and Dunia started planning in June, and we had a bunch of Skype meetings, we met at Starbucks, and we just started planning the executive members and how the year was going to turn out. And then after that, we had our executive meeting where we talked about um, what executive roles there were and how to fulfill them. Then after that, we had our interest meeting where a bunch of people came, I think probably like 100 plus, so that was really exciting. And then we had um, meetings here and there just to plan for the show, and then we had the show that is actually going to happen in a few hours, so we're, we're really excited about that. This whole show is full of artsy, creative um, performances that reflect Black History Month, obviously. We're going to have a fashion show, which we got help from a Congolese designer this year. The aspect of the show that I'm really excited about is the fashion show, and that's because it's been a while since we've done it, and I think the last time we did the fashion show was, I think, a few years ago. And so the fashion show is just something really exciting because it's unique and different, um, and it really showcases a lot of um, really cool aspects of black culture, and so that's why I'm really excited about it. Obviously, uh, the show is a very exciting event that happens every year in February, but something that I really want to uh, continue with is definitely conversation about black culture and raising awareness in the school community, because I think that this is, the performances that we have is more about, it is not just about entertaining people, but it's also about um, communicating that information that would definitely be benefiting the black community. So that's definitely something that I am looking forward to that I really want people to take away from this show is that Black History Month is not just about slavery and trying to educate everyone about slavery and the dark side of black history, but it's about celebrating what historical um, black figures have done in the past and today and to, to just to celebrate all together. 
So we're really excited for the show this year. Everything's turning out really, really well. It's probably one of the best organized shows that we've had, and we're really excited for the community members to come out and enjoy it. We've loved having, or we've loved being a part of it, and we've loved sharing our experiences and our hard work with everybody. <laughs> Cynical you, willfully turning a cheek, not listening while my sanity hangs in the balance and I edge towards the brink. But racism isn't really a thing anymore. Cynical you. Standing idly by while the remarks prick like needles in my melanin. Well, I'm sure he meant well. Cynical you. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Hold on, girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on. So I watch and stand in front of a line of police that look the same as me. Only separated by a badge, a baton, a can, a mace, a mask, a shield, a gun with gloves on hands. It gives an alibi in case somebody dies behind a bullet that flies out of the nine, takes another child's life on sight. <laughs> We had a lot of fun here today at Colonel By's annual Black History Month Showcase. Join us after the break to learn more about Sir Wilfrid Laurier's co-op schism. Oh, hey, welcome back from the break. You know, getting a job these days can be pretty difficult because most workplaces want you to get some experience beforehand. Thank goodness for the co-op programs offered at high schools like the one at Sir Will. Let's throw it to Nina who got to check out more about it. Thanks, Mateo. We're here at Sir Will and we're going to go check out their awesome co-op programs. Our co-op program here at Sir Will is great, it's very diverse, we have uh, lots of different kids um, that really benefit from the program. We do everything from retail to construction, uh, automotive, so it's really beneficial for any kid that wants to either learn um, the skills necessary just to work in a job um, after school or to actually gain experience in a particular field. Uh, my co-op placement was at the Ottawa General Hospital. I decided to do my co-op there because um, I'm looking into going into the field of pathology and they have really good labs and research areas there. I learned a lot in my placement. I learned about all the different branches of pathology and what it takes to go in there and uh, a bunch of different really cool medical terms. Um, I would definitely recommend the co-op program to other students because it's a great opportunity to figure out what you like and what you don't like and kind of helps you direct more to where you want to go. My co-op placement was at Avalon Public School for the JKSK kids. It's because I wanted to do a future career with children so I didn't know if I wanted to do it in a high school, uh, in an elementary school or with like daycare so I decided to take a chance at elementary school. I learned a lot of things like how to deal with some situations with kids and some lessons that I could maybe do in the future with my kids. I was at Pro Physio and I was a physiotherapist assistant. Um, my brother had done it the few years before and he really enjoyed it so I decided that's the one that I wanted to do too. Um, I learned how to do ultrasounds and um, a lot of the machines that they have there and different exercises for different injuries. Just go into the thing that you're most interested in because then you can decide if you want to do that or not. But other than that, I can't think of anything now. <laughs> I did my co-op placement at Maple Ridge Elementary School. It's an elementary school. I work with kids. 
Um, I did some printing for teachers. It just I looked at the environment that teachers normally uh, do their work in, and uh, yeah, I decided to do it out of school because like I have like a lot of plans. So plan C would be being a teacher. So I thought that would you know um, help me in the long run maybe. Uh, so I would know what I'm getting into. I learned how to like make a lesson. Like when teachers perform a lesson, it's actually pretty hard. Um, I learned uh, how to use the printer in different ways. Like when they're like printing like a full booklet, like from a magazine or something. Um, I learned uh, how to like get in touch with kids in different ways. Um, yeah. I'd just say do something you like because you wouldn't want to be doing your co-op placement first semester with something you don't like. We want the kids to learn real life skills, whether that be how to make a resume, how to go for an interview, fill out an application, work with other members um, and a team at a job, take instruction, and then also actually learn um, some key skills at a very specific uh, employment that they may want to take later on in life. I'd very much recommend it. It helped me a lot in helping some decisions that I didn't know about and some things that I had questions about. My advice for students just starting the program would be to always hand things in on time and make sure you arrive there and communicate with your supervisor because they'll be the ones who are looking after you. We had an awesome time here at Sirwell checking out the co-op programs. It's great to see all the awesome things kids are doing here. Wow, that looks like an incredible co-op program. Next up, I got a chance to check out the Ridgemont Senior Boys Basketball Tournament Championship game between St. Paul and Glebe. Let's go see how that went.
because if we don't practice, if, if when we're doing during warm-ups, if we're not like communicating and all that stuff, and we're just being lazy, it's, it's gonna carry on into the game. So we're not gonna be successful, and we're gonna end up losing the game. So we have to always be loud on the court and off the court, and always bring that momentum. Keep us focused. Let's repeat it to them, so so they can stick to the process and not force anything. And I always try to be a captain on the court. I always try to help my team out when they're angry or something like that. I always try to help them out, tell them to keep their head up. It didn't really change that much, but like this year, I've been like training a lot and uh, just listening to coach and what he says. His instructions, always following them, and that helps me in the game. So always keep focused. And so immediately we came into the tournament yesterday and we won three in a row, and we were better every single game, and we were better today than we were last night. Like we've, we've just gotten better and better and better. Wow, Zoel sure was lucky to watch such an incredible game. Stay tuned after the break where we get to go see some fun on the slopes. Welcome back from the break. You know, one of my favorite things to do this time of year is go out and enjoy the nice Canadian weather and enjoy those nice ski slopes. How cool is it that some high schools offer a thing called Ski Club? Let's go meet up with David, who's already at the slope. Thanks guys. Now we're here at Volage Ski Hill. To talk to a bunch of students about their experiences at the Ski Club and how it's going for them so far. Let's go check it out. How did you involved in the ski club? Uh, well, a lot of my friends do it and uh, they kind of just told me to try it. So I've been doing it since middle school and yeah. How long have you been skiing for? Uh, basically since my first ski club, which was in grade seven, I think. And uh, yeah, so I've been doing it ever since then. And do you think people should get involved with their ski clubs? Yeah, I think that people should come here because it's a lot of fun being able to come ski with your friends and kind of have a night off of homework and stuff, so it's a good time, so I think that people should come. Do you have a favorite hill so far? Uh, my favorite place is probably Edelweiss, just because like hills, the runs are longer and it's got a good park, so yeah. Alright Morgan, so tell me, what got you interested in ski club? Well, I really like skiing and it's a great way to spend time with your friends after school and it's just a great midweek activity. How long have you been skiing with schools? Well, because I grew up in Ottawa, I actually did the night skiing program that in elementary school. And I learned to ski here at Verloche. So I did it as a elementary school and I did it in high school. And then when I became a high school teacher, it was kind of a, something I was looking forward to doing was being a chaperone so I could come up and ski just like I did when I was a teenager. What is your favorite part of Ski Club? My favorite part of Ski Club is actually getting outside. Uh, I tend to uh, stay inside the building and do a lot of work, and this kind of is the forces me to go and enjoy winter. And I get to do it with uh, some of my really my my friends, my colleagues, and that's kind of fun. And I get to see my students in a different light because uh, there are some students who I met because of Ski Club, and then I get to teach them the next year. We already have a connection, so that's what I enjoy about Ski Club.
Why should students get involved with their local ski clubs? Okay. I, I think because we live in Canada and we live in a cold country and we have snow that you should figure out something that you enjoy to do in the winter. Otherwise, it'll just drag on. So whether it's um, skating or whether it's uh, skiing or cross-country skiing, that you should try to find something that you love to do so that the winter is actually something you look forward to do. Some, so the winter is something you look forward to. Thank you for your time. Wow, what a blast skiing here tonight. It's a lot of fun. Ski clubs are a great way to get involved with winter sports at your school. Be sure to check them out. Back to you guys. Wow, what an amazing experience. It sure looked like a blast. Thanks for watching this month's episode of High School Happenings. Make sure to tune in next month. Yeah, so I'm saying, I really don't know.